having a dip at Bondi Beach is sometimes more difficult than it sounds with no train line and traffic gridlock, but the state's transport lobby group is hoping to get you swimming sooner, releasing a new congestion-busting wish list. One of Sydney's most stunning natural assets is just seven kilometres from the city, but it can be hard to get to Bondi Beach without a car. The rail line only runs to Bondi Junction, but a transport lobby group says it should be extended, possibly underground, to the beach after the state election. Also, it's a huge commuter hub now, so we need to make it easier for people in the eastern suburbs to get into the CBD and further west for great jobs as well. In the west, the forum is calling for Parramatta and the city to be linked by a high-speed, metro-style underground train line running near Parramatta Road. There are already plans to build a road tunnel through here, the West Connects, but an underground rail line has the potential to speed things up for both train users and drivers. And at the moment, congestion is costing us over $5 billion a year, and by 2020, it'll be somewhere over $8 billion. We need to sort out the city and a whole range of other routes around Sydney. Another proposal in the ambitious master plan is a spur rail line servicing Neutral Bay and parts of Mossman. The Liberal Party says it's already Generation spending billions on transport. Labor says it will consider the suggestions. All of it needs to be looked at in terms of what we can afford and what's actually going to work best. And that's the way in which Labor will be looking at our um, transport plan, which will be coming out very soon. But even if adopted, the long-term transport projects are years away. Sean Berry, 7 News.